Windows 8.1 doesn't make it as easy as it used to be to boot into some sort of mode like safe mode or to boot to a USB drive or to boot to a DVD. It just isn't that easy anymore. I'm going to show you two ways to do that. Now one is msconfig.exe. You can type that at a run line and from the general menu you can opt for selective startup and you can select what you want to load. You can also select diagnostic startup which will only load basic devices and services. You can take a look at the boot menu if you have uh, options for booting you can change those advanced options but you can also opt for a safe boot and you can opt for other options such as no GUI boot. The startup tab doesn't allow you to disable what happens at startup anymore. You have to go to task manager to do that, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about how we can change the startup process. I'm going to click cancel. I'm going to show you another way. You can go to the settings charm, click change PC settings, from PC settings, choose update and recovery. Choose recovery. And under advanced startup, click restart now. When you do that, you're going to have a lot of options on the screen. It's going to come up on a blue screen and there's going to be squares on it. You're going to be able to choose a device to boot to, like a USB or DVD drive. You're going to be able to access your PC's firmware settings, change Windows startup settings. You can restore from a system image. And there's even a startup option that allows you to let Windows try to resolve problems uh, that you think may be preventing the computer from starting properly or cor correctly. Good luck.